Welcome to Kingdom Builders Christian Center Church, a church like none other's Sunday morning message, where you will hear the relevant, reviving, and refreshing Word of God. Now here is Associate Pastor Danny Johnson. Good morning. Good morning. Y'all all right this morning? Yes. He lives. Y'all know that, don't you? Yes. Amen. He lives. Yes. And because he lives, yes. I can face every situation yes. that is brought before me tomorrow. I can face every situation that brought before me today because he lives. Because if what he has done for us, this is a day that the Lord has made. We should be glad and rejoice in it. So come on, let's give God some praises this morning. On this resurrection Sunday. They know this resurrection Sunday. I don't know about this Easter stuff. We're going to talk about that in my lesson to, and my teaching today. Because, you know, it, it's a uh, it's time out for a lot of things that's been going on within the church to cease. Let me warn you right now, this is not going to be a popular message. The pastor hang around, I might need a ride home. This is not going to be a popular message, but it's the truth. And the Bible said that we should know the truth and the truth shall not set us free, make us free. Make us free. Amen. Amen. It's good to see everyone out today and all you out there on Facebook. Man, it's good to see y'all. And uh, some, some of y'all that hadn't been here for a while, it's good to see you. We, we want to let you know we still love you. We want you to just start come, coming on back with, with us. So we, we, just, we just thank God today for, for all that, that he has done. So we're going get to uh, get on into this uh study today, but first what we do, let's raise our Bibles up and let's do the uh, faith confession this morning. Come on, let's do it together. Hold your Bible up. It says, this is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I am a believer and not a doubter. I am a doer and not just a hearer. And my life will be the better. I have to hear and hear the word of God. I Faith come by here and hear the word of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you would turn with me to the book of Mark, the 16th chapter, begin with the 14th verse to the 20th verse. Mark 16, 20, uh, 14, 16, 14 through 20. Amen. Are y'all happy? Yes. Y'all realize who we celebrate today? Yes, yes, yes. It seems like, seem like to me with it should be a little bit more enthusiasm. But we'll get there. Amen. 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 We, we, we'll get there. We, we'll get there. Mark the 16th chapter, verses 14 through 20. You, you have it, Kim? Yeah. Read. for a subject this morning, the Great Commission. The Great Commission. You may be seated. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. The Great Commission. Amen. Now, I was, uh, as I was listening to Sunday school this morning, which was a great Sunday school, talking about the risen Christ and the work he was doing during the uh, 
time after he had risen, how he had met with Mary and some of the disciples and stuff. He appeared to them and stuff. And, and what had happened was he had told them, he had sent word to the disciples that he had risen. And where were the disciples? The disciples were scared. They were hiding out. Yeah, yeah. But the, with Jesus said, go find them. Yeah. And let them know I have risen. Yes. And yes, uh, the, uh, in the Sunday school lesson we talked about, yes, God did forgive the disciples for uh, denying him and, and all of that. Yes, he did. But all the same time, as we look, as we go into the lesson today, it was some rebuking being done because of their disobedience. So let's let's look at a, a verse fourteen. It says, afterward he appeared unto the eleven as they sat at meat and upbraided them with the unbelief and hard, 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 hardness of heart because they believed not them which seen them after he was risen. The thing, the thing was, he, he upbraided them. Now what do I mean by upbraided? He scolded them. He rebuked them. For not believing the testimony yeah. that the, that the one that came to him and said he was ri risen, he, they didn't believe it. Yeah. So yes, yeah, in the Sunday school, yes, he forgave him and everything like that. But he jacked him up after he settled down at me yeah. in Galilee. Yeah. Amen. He will. He will. Uh, uh, he will. Forgive us, let me put it like that, for a lot of things. But a lot of things that we do, there's still going to be some consequences behind us. Amen. 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 So what is right here, as we begin with this lesson right here, when we get into the part that where he is rebuking the disciples for not believing the testimony of those that, that came to him and let them know that he has risen. He said, this was the first appearance of Jesus to all the disciples. He said, it is important to keep in mind that it's, it was the Sunday evening. It was the same day of his resurrection. See, it, it, it lets us know that that day that he, that morning he uh, uh, he rose, he, he just arrived and was sitting up to heaven. He still had a work to do. Yeah. He, uh, he, he, they say he went around and doing things for those that were needing yeah. and stuff like that. He appeared to the uh, Mary Magdalene and the two disciples, and then he had to have a special confrontation with his disciples. Because he was getting ready to descend up into the heaven, go to the Father. And so there's a lot of work to be done before he went. Amen. And the work was unbelief. Yep. See what see what he what he told what, what he told the disciple was, what he, what he told the disciple was, is the things going on is too critical. Souls are being lost. Yes. People are killing one another. Yeah. Drugs is taking over our streets. Yeah. And everything is done. And here you are in uh, 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 in unbelief. Yeah. We talk we, 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 we talk about these things. And we talk about the church today. These folks have been dead 2,000 years. So the church is talking to us today. Amen. And, and the Lord is rebuking, rebuking the church right now because of the thing that we should be doing but we're not doing. Amen. Come on, y'all. Stay, stay with me this morning now. Because this thing is for real. We talk about the resurrected Christ. He's alive. Yes, he is. He's alive. He's ascended on the right hand of the Father in power. Yes. But the thing of it is, he left a job for us, yes. the church. He done done everything he's going to do. He sat around for three years in his ministry. Where these disciples followed him, they said they seen him heal. They seen him touch the dead and raise them up. They, they, they seen him the, he, he heal the, the lepers and everything. And they still doubted. When, when, he, when they told him that he had risen. He had told them time and time again that he was going to rise on, on the third day. But, it, but, but, it, but instead, they didn't, they, they didn't believe, uh, believe that. It said, two hindrance to the Great Commission. And the commission was the command that he had given us, that he gives us to go out into the world and take the gospel. That's great. But it says two hindrances to the Great Commission. There are two major hindrances to the Great Commission. 
warned his unbelief. Mm -hmm. Right now, they didn't believe that the Lord had risen. But right now, the church don't believe he's coming back. Come on. Amen. Come on, because if you believe he was coming back, and if you believe that time wasn't as long as it has been, you'd be doing a better job than getting out there doing his will. So the evidence showed that we don't believe he's coming back. Amen. 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 The second was the second was the hardness of heart. Again, we don't believe nothing. We don't believe it. We sit, we sit here just like just like Jesus done to the disciples. Well, well. Sunday after Sunday. Telling you that he's coming back. Yes, yes, yes. Wednesday after Wednesday. Yes. Telling you he's coming yes, back. And yes. we go by the old American way yes. doing what we want to do right. and not doing what thus said the Lord. Amen. 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 This message is crucial this morning on the record, celebrating resurrection Sunday because we got to change our lives yep. and line them up with the word of, with the word of God. Amen. 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 He said, Jesus. Unbread them for their unbelief and hard heart. The word upbred means to rebuke, to reproach, and to reprove and to scold. They deserve the rebuke and why? Because of their unbelief and their hardness of heart. That's what God was telling was telling them. Look here. And I'm telling, he's telling the church today. Look here. It's too many lost souls out there in the world just to be coming in here on for an Easter egg hunt and, 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 and things like that and going back to the house. Come on now. I told y'all this ain't going to be no possible sermon because there's going to be some bubble busting today. You know. We look at Resurrection Sunday as hunting Easter eggs. And have you ever asked yourself, said I just thought about it? What in the world have a rabbit and egg got to do with a, a, a resurrection sign? Have y'all ever thought, have y'all ever said I thought about that? Or we just doing something that somebody else do? Or just doing, just be doing, don't even, don't even realize we're doing it because of uh, uh, granddaddy and them done. We, we, we're not asking no questions. You know, why is this done and, and where did it come from? You got you got your smartphone. You got think all they got to do is Google some of this stuff, and it'll lay it out there for you. And it will tell you that that that, that these uh, Easter eggs and rabbit come out of a pagan worshiping of a place. It's paganism that we have entered break into the church, and we're teaching these children the same thing. And it's it's going on from generation to generation. Now it's time to stop. Now see, I mean. Well, we do this because we draw kids. You don't take no paganism and draw no kids. The Lord said, the, the Lord said, teach him, teach him the, his word, and he'll do the drawing. We, 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 we don't need to, to, to hunt no each egg and think things like that. If we do it God's way, but see the thing of it, we want to do it our way. It said, listen to this. It's the day witness the uh, uh, Jesus power. That is, that is God's power throughout his ministry. They had seen his power over both nature and disease. And they had even witnessed his power over death when he raised up Jairus' daughter and a young man and Lazarus and perhaps other which there is no record. The power, so, so Jesus, we, we don't, Jesus don't need none of these extra curriculums like uh, hunt each egg and things like that to draw, to draw his people. To them, he, he got the word of God. In, does anybody here know the origin of Easter? Okay, let me educate you a little bit. First of all, it was a it was a celebration in ancient Europe. It was a celebration, and it was a pagan celebration, and it come, it come from the Easter come from the the the, the, the pagan goddess. Astra, and it turned into Easter. What they would do in the springtime of the year, they would get eggs and they would bury them. And where they would get full spring and they would bury the egg, and in the springtime of the year, they would go back and dig them up. Hide Easter egg, Easter egg hunt. Then, what they, what they did, the rabbit 
represent fertility. Anybody that dip a rabbit, they know you you, you can have two uh, uh, today and, and, and three or four days later you might have twenty. Because they breathe fast. It represents a, a, a fertility. So they worship that in the words of God. And, and, and as, Christ, as people accept the uh, uh, Christianity, they integrated that into Christianity. And right up until today, we still celebrate paganism in the, in the church. Come on, y'all follow me? Come on now. Come on now. I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, know, I know you don't want to disappoint these kids about uh, uh, these things, huh? but the truth got to be told. The Lord, the Lord told me to tell the truth, and, I, and I, I'm telling you. And, 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 it's, and he let, them let me know it's time out. Now, if you want to have an eat these day, huh, don't hook it up with Resurrection Sunday. Just pick your day so we don't have these days. Huh? Any day. Just don't hook it up with Resurrection Sunday. Because it don't go together. And it don't want Jesus justice for allowing this to happen in the church. Jesus was saying to his disciples, it's too critical for this foolish. The foolish is like this. And people out there, people out there are uh, uh, dying and killing themselves, Su suicidal and everything else. And we sit up here at the place and hunt Easter eggs and, 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 and talking about the rabbit and, and all this type, type of thing for what people out there in the world suffer. Come on now. I, I, just, I just want you to follow me. I just want you to follow me. And he, he was on these disciples. And he said, they had witnessed his life. His purity and holiness and sinlessness, and they had been taught that sin causes death. That is, that a man dies because of sin. And check this out. Jesus was without sin. Therefore, Jesus could never, or uh, uh, death could never hold him, and, and death could never hold him and enforce its power over him. They should have been able to reason and see the glorious fact, especially in the light of Scripture. In the light of Scripture, we should be able to reason and see a lot of this stuff that's going on in the church is not right. Because it's not lined up with Scripture. Amen. Amen. Is that they had rejected the testimony of his resurrection, and he had sent them word by Mary Magdalene and the other two disciples, hard heartedness, hard heartedness, that, 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 that we are unbelief, you know, we, we, we don't believe the scriptures that, that's been given, that, that, that Jesus had given the script, that he uh, spoke to his disciples time and time after again, repeatedly, yeah. told him them this thing happened when time got, don't believe it. We have heard time and time again that Jesus is coming back. But our actions haven't changed. We still come and go as we please. It's still, the, the world is getting worse. And we just laying back and allowing. I'm talking about the church now. And we just laying back and allowing. No power. We, we talked about, uh, 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 the, I heard in the discussion this morning at Sunday school, they talked about how, how the women done. They were the first one to go to the uh, script uh, uh, to the script and thing like that. But the thing over here, that was 2,000 years ago. What the women doing now? Come on now. Come on. What, what are we doing now? The men was hiding out during that time. Scary stuff. What are we doing now? Are we still hiding out? Well, that goes for all of us. One, the clock can't talk about the killer. That's for sure. The clock can't talk about the killer. But what I'm saying is, what, what, what I'm saying is, is so much being neglected in the church. And when the, when the church consists of men and women, yeah. well, they say, well, it, 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 it said, look at the day, there's more women in church than men. Yeah. Well, then, the, the Great Commission is go. Yeah. Go get them. Yeah. We, are, we sitting up here waiting for them to come to us. Right. We supposed to be out there going to get right. them. Right. Yeah. Amen. 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 It said the disciples unbelief and heart, hardness of heart was very, very serious. Jesus' rebuke of their unbelief and hard heartness shows this. Jesus dealt with the matter of unbelief and, and hard heart, heart of heart. Uh, he dealt with it. He said, How much 
more should we see the, the unbelief and the hard heart he said go I'll get to that in a minute but where do you start see we want to look over there somebody else yeah. selling dope and stuff we want to look at those like that and, and one of the major problems is yes, sir. Yeah. Amen. that's one of the major problems he said, when, when, when you go, you start, you go here yep. first. Yep, yep. Because if, if we go get on into this mess, we're going to find out that we, we just can't go out there in a way and be productive while yep. we're out there. Amen. He said, when we begin to believe that souls are lost and doomed, unless they hear and receive Jesus, then we will take the great commission seriously and preach the gospel to the whole world. Yep. Okay. Let me clear some up right quick. Because I know what y'all are thinking when I say preach. Well, I ain't no preacher. Yeah, you is. He <laughs> said, every believer yeah. that is saved, yeah. go out into the world. Leave here and go out there. Yeah. Your world might be in your house. Right. 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 That's, right. That's, right. That's the world we might be talking about right now in your house. That's right. If it's not the house, your community. But he said, go. <coughs> go out. Well, I don't know what to say. This is where you get the word of God. Come to church. Come to Sunday school. Come to Bible study. Because it's all about the, the gospel. What is the gospel? It, it's the, the gospel is about the resurrection of uh, resurrected Christ. The one that died on the cross and was there for three days, carried out sins to the grave and left them there. And raised up on the third day with all power in his hand and ascended to be on the right hand side of his father. Yes. See, these are the things that the world got to know. These are the things see, the, that the world got to know. The world got to know that Jesus loved them yes. as well as we do. And that love transcends through us. Yes. Yes. Jesus gone. Yes. He's sitting up there uh, 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 pleading to God to have mercy on us because we're being disobedient. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he he, 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 he speak for us. He said, you know, you know, every situation, it's got to be a root cause. Before we get to the root of the root cause, is let me say this: is that it has been two thousand years, and a, and a place as small as our world has not even been reached in your house. In your community, we're not even reaching in. Yep. But we always want to go to the Middle East. We want yep. to go somewhere else to, to, to straighten stuff out. And everything going on is right around you. Yep. And we don't want to touch that. Yep. Instead, it's going to hurt somebody's feelings. Yep. Somebody ain't going to speak. Yep. Or somebody going to talk about you. Yep. All this kind of mess. No, you're scared. Come on, they put that perspective, you get scared. And you don't want, you, you don't want to, to speak the word of God. But, but the word say, if you yeah. deny me here on yeah. earth, yeah. I will right. deny you before the Father that's in heaven. Right. Amen. 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 It says, that's unimaginable when we have had the means of transportation and communication as well as the resources at our disposal to do the job. Amen. Jesus told the disciples before he left, the things I do, you would do greater things. Amen. And we're doing less things. <laughs> oh yeah, I know. <laughs> you ain't got to you, you amen. Yeah. I already know. I amen, I amen that when I was studying this. Yeah. Amen. Well, I know we're talking about me. Yeah. Amen. And but 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 serious business. See, God is trying to get us on course yeah. to do His will. Yeah. Yeah. And believe it or not, that's where our blessings at. Yeah. Right. That's where our blessings. If, if we if we don't if we say we love our brothers and sisters, no, we don't. No, because if you love your brother and your sister, and when I say brother, I'm talking about I'm just talking about the church right now. You would tell them the truth. Yeah. But I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. Yeah. Well, the truth hurts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hurts. The truth hurts. Yeah. 
I mean, it just don't feel good. I, I, I walk, I walk out of church in many days. I uh, 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 want to pull my shoes off on the feet hurt so bad. Yeah. <laughs> then walked all over the stuff. Yeah. But it helped me. Yeah. You know, it helped me. It helped me to, to do better. Yeah. Okay, let's look at the root cause of all this stuff. And it's simple. It said the root cause of unbelief, hardness of heart, was very simple. This mis interpretation of scripture and of Jesus' word. It's always important where you go to church. That's been taught to you. It's been telling you that for the you can't sit at everybody's table and eat, eat what they're talking about. So sometimes they feed you points. It's, it's very, it's very important. And that's the root of it. Misinterpret the, the description. Well, they, they say uh, we should love that brother so that we love ourselves. Well, I don't care about myself, I ain't got love in. And that happens to a lot of people's minds. A lot of people can't love because they don't love themselves. That's right. You know, they, they, you know, they don't love themselves. But see, we got to learn how to love. And, and, and I ain't talking about lust now, I'm talking about love. Yeah. I'm talking about this godly love, I'm talking about this agape love. Yeah. You know, I'm talking about that, 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 that kind of love that God sent his own begotten son yeah. to, die, to die for us, you know. Yeah. I'm talking about that kind of love. Amen. Yeah. yeah, to love, love one another. Well, he, back in high school, uh, he talked about me back in high school. Well, see, <laughs> you're going to run up on, you're going to run up on that situation. Yeah. But if you love for real, so you're going to be looking beyond the father yeah. and see the need. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It says, the disciples had been told that Jesus was to die and arise, or, and arise from the dead. Jesus had told them time and time again, but the disciples refused to believe the word of Christ. They refused to see the Messiah as a suffering Savior, choosing instead to think in terms of a conquering king. They refused to see the king of God as a spiritual kingdom, choosing instead to the in, in terms of a physical kingdom, a kingdom on earth. Amen. They refused to see the death and resurrection of Jesus as a liberal fact Choosing instead to think of it as a symbolic term. Amen. Amen. And sometimes as we look at the church, we're looking at a symbolic term. But we, 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 our actions prove that. Yeah. Amen. Prove that. It says unbelief and hard heartedness of heart, hardness of heart are inexcusable within a believer. How many believers in here? Come on, let's see your hand. How many believe in him that, 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 that believe? Yeah. Unbelief and hard hardness, hardness of heart are inexcusable within a believer. So if, if, if you are a believer, there is no excuse for you not to do the word of God. There's no excuse that you do, that you do not trust God Amen. in his word. Amen. No excuses. Amen. No excuses said right here. John 3 and 18 says, He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. Amen. 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 Believing is important. The, in, in, it's the only way that we can uh, go out here into this world and be productive in this world and bringing the people into the church, we got to believe with what the scripture says. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So let's look at the Great Commission. It says the Great Commission is a straightforward command. It ain't asking you to do nothing. It ain't pleading with you to do nothing. It ain't just, it's a command from God. To do it. It said it is brief, yet forceful, and uncompromising. Go preach. All that, and that goes for every last one of talking about believers. Now, all the ones that the head says, the, the, the believer, 
the, the, they go for every last one of them. It's, 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 I got to say, some, some people are doing it. That's in the church. They'll talk to a different one and to, 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 get, to get them in and stuff like that. But it takes the whole church to do this. He said, Jesus, was, Jesus made two critical points. It is the gospel that is to be preached. The gospel, not what you want to say. Because a lot of times we want to take. We want to take this and beat somebody upside the head. Yeah. You better do this and you better do that and, and, and things like that. That's not going to draw nobody. That's going to drive. Right, right. That's going to drive people away. Amen. See, see it, it's a way. It, we, 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 we can rebuke people out of love. Yeah. That's what Jesus was doing with his disciples. He, he, yeah, he was dying on the heart. But it was out of love that, 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 that he was doing this. It says, we're not to preach our own thoughts our ideals, humanistics, and man-centered beliefs, world religions, Easter, you can take a thing like a thing down, and philosophy. We are to preach the gospel. The gospel of Jesus Christ is the news which the world desperately needs to hear. Amen. 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 So if we, if, if we want to change things, first of all, we can't be scared. We can't, it's, it's time to come out. It, it's time. It, it's, it's time to, to come out behind closed doors and stuff like that. You, you know, it, 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 it's time to come out of the closet. I'll put it like that, and, and, and teach God, teach God's word. He said the gospel is to be carried into all the world and preached to every creature. You can't pick and choose who you want to talk to about Jesus. Just like I was saying a while ago, you're going to run up on some people that done you wrong. Yeah. It might be some people that, that one day go, go walk through them doors right there yeah. that, that, that done you wrong. Yeah. But we're supposed to show up. It's time to forgive. Yeah. All the stuff you heard in 40 years and person that you, yeah. that, 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 that you, that you had forgive, probably got all around. Right. Right. And then you fried up and then they, they wonder, well, what's wrong with her? You know, and you and you hold it unforgiven. Yeah. But yet still, you're supposed to be a child of God. Yeah. You're supposed to be a believer. Yeah. But you but you hold that in your heart. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah, we better be careful. We better be careful, church. Amen. We better be careful. He said the gospel is to be carried into all the world and preached to every creature. The gospel is the news which everyone needs to hear. Two simple facts. The Great Commission was given to the whole church, to every believer. The command was given to every one of us to go. Go out there into the world and, and take the gospel out there. The, it, it, it's not telling you like me sometimes, go home and get that recline. Well, I'm guilty. But it's instead, it's instead, he said, go out and, 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 and teach. You know what? We can complain all day long about uh, different things going on in our community and stuff like that. We can sit behind closed doors. We can come into this uh, uh, setting right here. We can talk about it, discuss it like that. But, but what does it have to help? Is it helping anything? No. I mean, if it is, let me know, but I ain't see no difference in it just by talking about it. But, the, but Jesus said, take the gospel to these people because they, they need to hear it. That don't mean everybody going to accept it. But take, why do you think that, that, that uh, uh, Jesus said, Jesus not coming back until the, the gospel is fulfilled all every corner of the earth? But well, why do y'all think that that, that that'd be so? Or why is he doing it? Because he's giving everybody an opportunity to hear the gospel. And, 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 and to turn their life around and accept him as a Lord and Savior. So there won't be no excuse when I didn't hear the I didn't hear the gospel, I didn't hear this, and I didn't I didn't hear that. Uh-uh. He's gonna make sure you hear it because he's not coming back until all the world have heard. Amen. Amen. So it's our duty to get the word out there. Amen. Now, with the, now if, there was, if it was some gossip. Well, I mean, it was somebody told me for a thing to hit Facebook. 
Meet me at Walmart parking lot. And we'll sell this. See, God give us instruments to, to, to get the word out there, but look how we're using them. Look how we're using this stuff. You know? This, this, this is a serious, this is something you need to contemplate, you know. This is serious. Because I had to, you know, I, I had to go, 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 go going through this, I had to put this down a couple times myself. Because you know, Lord, I don't know about all this, Lord. But this, but this is what he is saying. It says, after, after a person believes and is baptized, Jesus said that the person go for the person to go forth with power and sign while he preached the gospel. And he said, every believer who is genuinely saved is to preach the gospel. Amen. Now, we, we, we won't get into the point about the power. Because see, we're scared because we think we're going out there alone. Right. See, see, God gonna give us some a, a, assurance. Assurance. He says the Great Commission does not consider consider difficulties, dangers, or barriers to be reason for not going. There ain't no excuse for not going. This is why he says Jesus did not discuss excuses for not sharing the gospel. His command was an uncompromising command. The issue of eternal life versus eternal damnation is too critical an issue to allow anything to stop the gospel from going forward. He said the gospel has to be carried forward. Carried forward. No man is to be neglected. No people are to be ignored. The believer is to be Undaunted and unswavered from the Great Commission, the believer is commanded to go ye into all the world. He said the reason for the Great Commission is twofold. Men are either saved or condemned. It ain't no gray area. It ain't. No, it ain't. I'm sorry, saved. Uh, 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 I'm gonna do this right now, but Lord save me. I'll uh, forgive me, Lord. Uh, 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 no, you finna go do wrong. Lord forgive me uh, 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 for, for what I'm about to do. Well, this is what you gonna do. And then, and then he won't have to forgive you. You know, the dumb stuff like that. You know, I've done it. <laughs> Everything I can talk about. <laughs> Everything I can talk about. But with the stuff, it's stuff like that that we're gonna we're gonna have to, you know, the church is, is gonna have to they, they get rid of. It says, if the gospel is shared with them and be, and believe and are baptized, they shall be saved. But if they disbelieve, they shall be condemned. It said, a man could, a man can can now be saved. Why? Right. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. He no longer needs to walk about wandering throughout life, seeking and searching for fulfillment and completeness, questioning if there is really any purpose to life. Oh, there's a lot of people like that don't don't understand the purpose, their purpose of life. A lot of people that's a lot of this uh, the, the, the suicide rate is so high. People think they're worthless. Their self-esteem they have gone through the floor. And, and here we are, instead of going out there and letting them know that, that, that we love them and Jesus loves them, and somebody loves you and care about you, and there is purpose in your life. In, 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 the, in the chair, watch the game, or the game watching you. Yeah. 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 And it goes on to say, men can be saved and live eternally. He can be delivered from sin and its power. They can be delivered from death and its fear and corruption. They can be delivered from hell and its, and its torture and separation from God. Amen. This is all things happening through the gospel. Getting the gospel. That's how critical this thing is. Getting the gospel out there to these, to, to these lost souls. 
Amen. And somewhere in the Bible said that what Jesus said, uh, uh, he left the 99 and went searching for the one. And that's the kind of attitude we got to have. You know, we get what we need right here among these four walls. But the work is out there, outside these four walls. A man is lost and condemned if he disbelieves the gospel. And this right here is the power that God promised us to read assurance of that he is with us no matter what we know. Taking the gospel. Because there's going to be some rough places that he's going to send. Taking the gospel. He said the promise to the believer as he carries out the great commission is critical. And it is. Because we need the power of God to help us through these situations that we're going to meet up with out there in the world. Some people ain't going to like that. Some people might have a good upside your head. And, and, and you pray and get your jam and do something. You know, a lot of people ain't going to like you when, when, when you go out there. He says, the believer must have supernatural power as he goes forth throughout the world. Now, what I mean by a supernatural power? The power of the Holy Spirit. Y'all heard the story of uh, uh, David and Goliath, man. David was 17 years old. A little dude. But he had that supernatural power. And he believed. When he did the story. I think it's in Second King, First King, one, seventeen chapter. You 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 read about it and how he talked stuff. He had some brother, but he was talking stuff to that giant. <laughs> Told him what he was going to do to him that day. And 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 his uh 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 uh, uh his uh, uh his cohort, the army, behind. and done. But it, it, it was the supernatural power that that David was carrying, and that same power be in us, the the, 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 whole, the Holy Spirit that's in us. The the, the, the first John four four said, "He that's in us yeah. is greater than he that's in the world." Yeah. But we we don't have that power because we don't believe that. Oh we in the unbelief. Oh it says the, the believer must have supernatural power as he go out go forth out into the world. The world is a dangerous place. The believer will sometimes be called upon to face treacherous land, violent storms within nature, savage and poisonous animals, unbelieving and hostile men, spiritual evil of, of unbelievable forces, the evil of men of nature and of spirit can be so threatening to the believer that the believer witness will be stopped if God did not provide his strength and power. We can't do it on our own. We, can, we, we cannot do it on our own. We get out there and try to go out there. We might make it back and we might not. But with the spirit and, and the power of the Holy Spirit, we can do all things. Because he strengthens us. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He said, this is the point of this path, a passage. God does not give power. This is the point of this passage. God does give power to the believer. And all the power necessary to carry the gospel into all the world and to every creature. God gives you everything we need to accomplish that the goal that he has given us. If we only believe. If we, if we only believe. As a believer, carry, as a believer carry out the great commission, God promised power, the power needed to get the task done. Note the power or signs mentioned by Mark. Such powers would be present in the life of the believer when needed. He, pro he proclaims the gospel around the world Casting out devils. We ain't casting out no devils. Speaking with new tongues. Taking up serpents. No. Drinking any deadly thing. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't believe in no one. Laying hands on the sick and healing them. Amen. We should get a bankrupt Dr. Joe out there now. 
I mean, the system. But, but, but you know, it, it's not that put people out of a job because if, if they get out of one job, God got to give another. Right. It, it's the fact all them people laying up there in the bed and the church is doing that, going out, going out there visiting and seeing how they look when they come back to work with poop. Oh, so the brother Sosa was bad. <laughs> This man, I don't know if he's gonna make it old night or not. Instead of praying, laying hands on the praying for the man, that's what the word says. That's what the gospel says. Lay hands on that man. If you got the spirit of God in you, now keep your hands off if you don't. Amen. Acts 1 to 8 says, But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be witness unto me, both in Jerusalem and in, in all Judea and in Samaria. Unto all the other parts of the world. Y'all remember uh, what, 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 what is it, Acts 3 or uh, Acts 2? When, when uh, uh, the, the Holy Spirit came up and uh, up in the, uh, what, what, what the disciple was in, 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 in the upper room. And, and it came in, coming like a rushing wind. Mighty right, rushing wind. And see, that's when they uh, received power. They received power. They didn't have no power. Everything they were had in the beginning, they didn't have no power. But after that, what happened? When, when, when everybody, when they were walking around speaking in other tongues and things, things like that, and everybody saying, what well, well, them jokes were drunk, and Peter stood up and said, no, it's too early. That's the first thing, it's too early. Too early in the day to be drunk. A, 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 and then second, Peter said, Peter stood up and he preached. And it, it was thousands saved that day, yeah. beginning of the church. Amen. 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 So right now, see, see, we, 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 we should open up ourselves to God, surrender to God, for the Holy Spirit can enter us and give us that power. Yeah. But we won't be afraid. We won't have to hide from from the, uh, uh, from, from what, what we need to do in, in this world. They, they are dependent on us. It's souls out there dependent on us. It's souls out there in the world looking for a way out, but they don't have. They, they don't know where, where to go. But see, we can pay that road for them. Jesus loves you. Come on, you know. Come on. Then it said, "This is the confirmation of the commission." It says it's, it's seen in two acts. He said, "There is the Lord's ascension to the right hand of God. That is the position of power." That the great commission is confirmed by the Lord's working through the disciples' ministry. That, 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 that's how the that, that, that's how the, the commission is being confirmed. Because all the way it's gonna be confirmed, and we know, and we see some young kids out there just being healed and making coming to Christ and everything, all this like that. He said the Great Commission is to be carried out. The early disciples went forth immediately and preached everywhere. And the believers of every generation are to go forth immediately and preach the gospel everywhere. That's us. It said the Lord worked with me. The Lord worked with us. He is no respect of person. He'll work with us. If they trust and go out, we can do the same thing. Because see, if we go out, and, 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 and he said, and, and he don't uh, uh, take care of him, that's going to make him out of life. And, and God said, I'm not a, a man that I should lack. No. And, it, and it, just, it said, the Lord confirmed the word of God with signs. With signs. Yep, the evidence of, 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 of we going out there and, and, and doing what the, what the scriptures say, you know, it's going to happen. There's going to be signs to the world that we are disciples of God. Amen. Amen. So, so, so the close, the close, close this stand up. Come I, I want, I want you to see as God tried to get the disciples to see. This is a very serious, serious. Plead to man, to mankind, the church, to come out of them old ways and, and come to Him, that we can start accomplishing things through Him. He, he's looking. See. Let me, let, me, let me break it down just a little bit. Jesus is gone. He missed for three years. And he has set example for us those three years. He ain't, he, he not done nothing. He didn't tell us to do nothing that he ain't already done. All except he want us to do. Uh, uh, he have a little small territory because he walked there where he went around uh, uh, Galilee. But he tell us to go forth all, and the church is big enough to do that. Yeah. A, 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 a kingdom village might be uh, 
from Chicago to Florida, from Florida to Florida, that might be our world. But there are other churches taking up from there and go on. That there are people, there are churches going all all around the world. See, see when we get when we get the jet and the, all, all, all them tools right there, so, so we're gonna be able to go a, 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 a long way in a short a, a, a short time. So you see, God He provides all these uh, 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 things for us when we can get His work done. Amen. Amen. Do, do you think that He just gave the the, the, the private jets and jets for Donald Trump <laughs> and Pete did it in? <laughs> No, if he can give it to the world, what do you think he would do for the church? If we just all be obedient. Amen. 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 So if we just if we just get on, if, if we just get on in line with the word of God, and that's it's what the, the, the says the Lord. Not start when well, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Start right now. By getting your heart together. Amen. 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 This is the message. I hope somebody got something out of it today. This is what the Lord told me to give you, so I done gave it to you. It's all for me. It's all for me. Amen.